Hello there, this is Alfonso with Eagle, and today I'm going to show you how to create users in your Google Apps admin console. So, first of all, you have to sign in to your admin console by, Google, by going to admin.google.com and you use your super administrator credentials. So, once you get here to this interface, you will see the users icon. So, you click on it and you will see the list of users that you have in your account so there are two main ways to create users so in order to do so at the upper right corner you have like a list of icons you have to look for the human figure with a plus symbol next to it that says add more users if you roll over it so you click on it and it's going to ask you how you want to create the users you have two main options the first one to use an app to add the user manually and the second one the second one to add several users at once we're going to use the first one first so add the user manually you hit continue and right here it's going to ask you for first last name primary email address and the password so you set a temporary password for that user an easy one you set an easy password for that user and make sure to check the option that says require user to change password at next sign in so what you're going to do is to provide to Mona Lisa the primary email address and the temporary password for her to access her account once he signs in she will be prompted to set up a new password so that's it so we'll go ahead and create a new user and it's done there you have Mona Lisa created never logged in so that's it with this method so the second method it's to use to create users uh, several users at once so we're going to the same icon the human figure with plus symbol and then you choose the second option add several users at once using the CSV file upload so you hit continue and in the next screen it's going to show you the instructions on how to uh, update on how to create a CSV file and how to update it you can create a CSV file using Google spreadsheets like this one and you have the format right in the example email address first last name and password so I'm using the same format email address first name last name and password so once once you have the file you just download it as CSV and then you go back to the admin console and make sure you have and the, and the step number two you have to choose update options uncheck the second one because you are not updating any existing account you are creating brand new account and make sure to check the last one require a password change when new users sign in so make sure to check that option and then you go ahead and choose the file that you just created you can use uh, Excel you can use my uh, Google spreadsheets or notepad in order to create a CSV file so once you select the file you hit upload and continue and it's going to show you the first three rows uh, it's going to preview the first three or five rows and it, it, and it, it asks you everything looks good if for any reason you have an error uh, on your file the system it's going to tell you on a big red message about the error and how to fix it so you will be able to fix it very very quick so now that everything looks good you hit confirm and upload and it says uh, we are processing the bulk upload right now and it and it tells you that it may take from a few hours to a day but that in the case that you are uploading like 100 users or a thousand of users but in this case we are just creating uh, three users so it will be ready in less than one or two minutes so let's see if we go back to users there you have 
the three users plus Mona Lisa that we created manually. So that's pretty much how to create users in your Google Apps Admin Console. Remember that you have two main ways, which are manually and several users at once using a CSV file. So that's pretty much about creating users in your Google Apps Admin Console. If you have questions or comments, please leave us your comments uh, on the section below, or you can visit us at eagle.com and leave us any question or comments right there in any of our forms. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, we'll see you next one. Goodbye.